Hello, and welcome to the accompaniment to the sixth part of my series on using the TI-83 series calculators. This video will teach basic programming and will involve writing a simple program that will take logarithms of bases other than 10 or E by taking advantage of the change of base formula. This is just one example of a program, but programs can be very useful for any repeated command. The most basic form of programming in the TI-83 is probably plug and chug, so that you can write a program that will plug numbers into a formula for you. Like you can write a program that does amortization or future ordinary annuity for you, but this is just the most basic form of programming that we're learning now. If you learn more about it, you can write programs that can do all kinds of things for you. At this point, I'm going to assume that you understand where the cursor is and how to navigate menus, so this video is going to go quite a bit faster than the others. The first thing I'm going to need to do is go into the program menu, so, and that's by hitting the program key. We're going to go to the last page of this menu and select create, create New. It brings us to a screen that says program at the top and asks us to type in a name. So I type in LOG and hit enter. The first thing I want this program to do is display to the user what the program is for and what the variables represent. So I will display log base B of A. To do that we will first use the display command. To find it press the program button to go to this menu, a list of commands to use for programs. The display command is on the second page. Now to simply display text on the screen with this command we need to use quotation marks. Quotation marks are the alpha function of the plus key. Now again we use the alpha key. I'm going to hit second alpha to hit alpha lock to type in LOG. After I type in log I'm going to put a space because on the next line I'm going to put my base. Space is also an alpha function, this time of the zero key. Now I'm going to put in a variable for what I'm taking the, a log of, and I'm going to call it A. Now since this, is, since this is going to be the end of the line, I don't actually need to close the quotes, but I'm going to anyway, just because it's, it's a good habit. Now I hit enter to go to the next line. I now want to put the base of the log on this line. So I enter the command to display spaces until I'm between, until I'm under the space between log and A and then enter B for base. Now I need to let the user input the variables that they want to use. So I'm go going to go to the second page of the program menu and select input. Now the user is going to want to know what they're inputting so we need to display something. We don't use the display command because the input command has this built into it. We can hit the quotes then type A equals equals is going to be in the test menu which is the second function of the math key. Now we close the quotes. It's not an option this time and we hit the comma key. Now I enter A. This means that the calculations this program does using A we use whatever value the user assigns to A. Next we do the same thing but for B. This is all the input the user needs to give. Now for the calculations. Now calculations within programs are very straightforward. We just do them on the next line. No need for any special command. So the next line will say natural log of A over natural log of B, and that's the end of the program. I choose natural logs just because they're a little more standard, and with round off error for something like this, it might be best to use something that's a little more standard. Now we need to exit the editor, and so I just hit second quit, and I want to test the program. So I select the program from the menu and hit enter when it's on the home screen. To test it, I'm going to put 25 in for A and 5 in for B. It returns the correct answer of 2. Also notice that this is returned as an answer, so we can use it with the ANS key. 